And of course, over the last month, we have seen San Diego rally around Ukraine from afar. And that effort, it's gaining steam as the Kiwanis Club of La Jolla is raising thousands of dollars to directly help those suffering overseas. Craig Galliardi joins us now. He's heading all of this up. Craig, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Matt, for having me. I'm thrilled to be with you. Well, we're thrilled you're here as well. And I want to know just how much you have raised so far and what's your ultimate goal uh, with this fundraising that you've been doing? We're going to take as much as we can get. So far, we have about $23,000 that the Qantas Club of La Jolla has raised in about a week's time. So we think that that number is going to continue to grow with publicity like this. Yeah, I mean, tell me a little bit about what made you and the Kiwanis Club of La Jolla want to get involved in the first place. Because as I mentioned, across San Diego, we have seen people who are rallying around this cause, but everyone has a different reason for doing that. What really stood out to you? Well, that's a great question. We are a local organization. We raise about $200,000 a year from our half marathon. By the way, the half marathon is coming up on April 15th, excuse me, April 16th. And that $200,000 goes right back out to the community to such organizations as Father Joe's, uh, Children's Cancer Network, and all of these things. We also happen to have an office, a, a Qantas office in Kiev as well. And now that's closed. So we wanted to get funds to people that we trusted and a trusted resource became the Salvation Army for us. We vetted them and felt very comfortable. They've been doing having boots on the ground since World War One. Wow. I mean, and you mentioned it there. I mean, being able to vet these donations, where they're going to go ultimately, I think that's really important to people out there. So talk a little bit about specifically what the donations uh, will actually go towards and help with uh, over in Ukraine. Matt, it's amazing. So they're 100% of our donations are going to go to the Salvation Army World Services Division out in the, the middle of the country. And those funds will go out to their offices where they have boots on the ground in Moldova, Romania, Ukraine, and Poland. And those people have humanitarian efforts of feeding food, hot meals, shelter, sanitary kits, water, and even uh, therapy services for people that are experiencing trauma. Well, and I'm struck by what you said just a few minutes ago about the fact that there was a Kiwanis Club over there in Ukraine as well. I know as I've moved around the country, I've seen a lot of other Kiwanis Clubs. Is it sort of this tight-knit group where everyone is trying uh, to go towards the same goals and, and help each other out in the process? Well, the we have we're six hundred thousand members worldwide, so wow. it's a global organization. Our little club in La Jolla is only fifty about fifty members, and yet we raise the most out of any club in the world. So we raise about two hundred thousand dollars. We have a lot of money at our discretion, and we decided that we wanted to help our brothers and sisters in need in the Ukraine. So that's where these funds are going. It's absolutely amazing. It's incredible work you guys are doing. Before I let you go, how can people donate? Where where should they go? Thank you very much. They can go to our website at www.lahoyakwanis.org, excuse me, or they can donate uh, if they want to send a check, P.O. Box 81, La Jolla, 92038. If they just earmark the money for Ukraine, we'll make sure it gets to their appropriate places in the Salvation Army World Services office. Craig, this is incredible work you guys are doing. Thanks for stopping by to tell us all about it. I'm actually considering maybe doing that half marathon, so maybe I'll see you out there in a few weeks. Oh, uh, you should. It's <laughs> it's called the, the most beautiful marathon in all of America, and believe me, it is. So we hope you do. I can't wait. That's going to be fantastic. Thanks so much. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yep.